Wide Conjecture donates $10. Six Golden Coins was one of my most played games as a kid. This is a nostalgia head rush. Good running with this here. I think the first time I played this game when I was like three. All right, I need to, I need to stay at the top top back there because uh, if I if I got closer to the bottom of the level, the game would lag tremendously. It's another let go of B and fall off the ledge faster there. Um, there's three places where I could take damage to speed up, but I can only take damage twice, so I'm gonna wait there and then take damage in other places. And I'm gonna hope I don't lose my wings here on these stairs. Nope, I did, but that's fine. This is just a couple seconds. And this is supposed to be a maze, but the maze isn't too tough. There's like only one place where you have a choice of where to go. Alright, so I usually would damage boost through there, but since I took damage, I'll have to go under him. The Gordo from Kirby, and that's the first time he ever shows up in a non-Kirby game. This level looks absolutely ridiculous when it's speed run. So I'm gonna grab the carrot here. I need to go under that spike because he's gonna try and kill me. And I have one frame to get past him, which I did. And I had to super jump over that guy, grab the fire flower, jump on him, kill that Koopa. <laughs> And if I hit the top of that slime right there, I can boost ahead a little bit. And then that was the level. Um, I want to be around 90 kills and I've got 87, so I need to kill a few extra enemies in the next world. Another tough loss. <laughs> Also, the coins, the coins really serve no purpose in this game except for gambling. Uh, there's, a place in the, there's a place on the world map where you can gamble your coins for like extra life and power-ups. Um, but obviously, I don't want to do that. So this is the last world. Um, this first jump, I do have the question mark block is two frames. Hope I get this. Yep, I got it. All right. I have to do a lot of super jumps there. And then I take this weird path through the level because this is the le least laggiest way through this part of the map. <laughs> take damage on purpose there, just keep going. $50 from Kajepel. Great work, love you guys. All right, another tricky super jump here. I missed it, but that's fine. And then navigate through all the spikes. Oh, I got hit once, but that's fine. I actually don't need the fire flower. Fire flower is just for safety. So I want to have 92 kills before the end of this level, which I can get easily. I have to make sure not to pass 94. There's a teddy bear. Hello. So I'm at 92. I don't have to kill any more enemies. And there's Kara right here. And then I can just Super Mario World over to the end of the level. Okay, so this level, I always miss the, I, I always get to this carrot, and then for some reason Mario never grabs it, because Mario hates his vegetables. Oh, I got it that time, though. And I want to make sure to fly over these uh, tiles on the bottom, because they would push me left and make me go slower. 
and then drop down on the ones that make you go right, because obviously it makes you go faster. <laughs> get the fire flower right there. If I jump on this little black thing, he pushes me ahead a little bit. And then I've got one more level before he has castle. Precise jump right there. And then a super jump right there. And this stair looks pretty cool because all you do is jump on the Goomba and don't press A and you'll make it all the way up. Alright, 97 kills, 98 kills, and I can skip that guy and kill the last guy at the end. So I'm going to have 99 kills before I enter Wario's castle. And there's a place at the end where you have to spin jump on a bunch of enemies to kill them in one shot. So instead of that, I'm going to get a star and just run right through them. People hate these pigs, but if you have fireballs, they're not that bad. <laughs> they jump around and have really weird hitboxes, but you can just fireball them and they're dead. But they don't count against the kill? Nope. Bosses don't count towards your kill count. All the enemies in the, in the map. Alright, so most of these levels, for a casual run through, you can get through them pretty easily. But uh, this last level is abnormally difficult compared to everything else in the game. Especially the first the first part of the, the level and then the level with the lava and the platforms. So I'm going to hope I get through those. I've got seven lives, so... <laughs> we'll see. Oh no, a ball! Nope, just kidding. Alright, this part. Alright, got through that. You have to tap A when you're on that tall statue. If you if you hold A for too long, you die. You'll just fall in the lava. And this is the last last hard part of this level is this part right here. So these floating platforms are really small. <laughs> and uh, they also have very unusual hitboxes. And I made it. Alright. So that should be safe for the rest of the level. Um, there are some giant Wario fists here, but uh, you have to jump on a certain tile to make them activate, so I just jumped over them all. And uh, these platforms, you don't even have to jump. You can just walk over them, and Mario will just kind of glitch himself on top. And then, oh my god, barrels. Nope, just hold right. And here's the whole reason I killed 100 enemies, just to get that star. To make these two rooms faster. So, I killed exactly 100 enemies to save two seconds. This boss is also very underwhelming. If you land if you land on his throne before he starts, you can just instantly kill him right there. And uh, I want to pay attention to the timer on the bottom here. I want to go if the timer is 764 or 768. Because um, if I wait for those times and then move, I get the perfect pattern here, which is him dropping instantly. And then you can just jump through him when he's invincible, because Mario doesn't care. And uh, when, I, when I hit him the third time, it's his time. One, two, and three. All right, that's a good time. So if, if I actually manage to stand perfectly inside Wario there, then the shoe kind of goes all the way around the screen and comes back the other side. It's like his shoe goes around the world, but uh, I tried, but I didn't stand right in the middle.
Is there, is there any more time left? Because I can show off another glitch here. Uh, like, it'll take like three minutes to show it off. All right. So I'm going to skip the credits here and try and do a glitch here. You can actually beat this game in about four minutes um, by doing this glitch. You can only do this on a 1.0 cart of Super Mario Land 2. So I need to go to a pumpkin zone here. So I need I need to be Fire Mario because I can only get inside when I'm Fire Mario. So I'm gonna grab this fire flower and uh, well I'm gonna leave the level and come back and whoa okay okay then and then there, there's this lovely mess down here but it's okay we like the mess. So, so we're, we're in a, a lovely design world right here, and uh, the pipe's right here. So I, this is one frame, so I can't, I can't walk to the right here, but I can slide under, and I have to get in this pipe right here, but there's only one pixel where Mario can get in the pipe. And I was too far right, so I can't, so I'm stuck now, but Mario can cry. He's sad because he messed up. I'll, I'll try this one more time. But, uh... Basically, if you get down that pipe and get all the way to the bottom of the map, um, you'll actually get into RAM. And there's a place where you can trigger the credits in the bottom. Just by breaking a block. And you basically beat the game. I'll give it one more, I'll give it one more try. Also, if you don't hold down there, you also get stuck. Nope, too far. All right. So you can get down there and then break a certain block at the bottom, and uh, you'll activate the credits with this music and beat the game. So that's Super Mario Land 2. All right, for the upcoming Lost Levels, we have a character select Bidwar versus uh, Luigi and Mario. Mario has 70, Luigi has $253.92. Jan Michael Olson donates 10 simply because of that song. Got a $20 anonymous donation. Just tuned in to see one of my favorite games being played. Nice. Have a $5 donation from Mellow Yellow 8787. He says he loves the Prevent Cancer Foundation. Though I don't know anyone with cancer right now, I know this will help millions in the future. Put this towards Luigi. Apparently a lot of people did. John B. donates $15 and says, just donating because of that awesome Star Song solo. $10 from Hugh Lewis. Super Mario Land 2 was one of my favorite Game Boy games. Love seeing it running. Uh, good job, LaPlace here. A $50 anonymous donation. Keep fighting the good fight, AGDQ. Here's $50 toward the blindfolded Mike Tyson's punch out. We have $20 from X-Wing Mitch Zero. Thank you to all the participants including and individuals working behind the scenes on yet another amazing AGDQ. I recently lost my grandfather and aunt to cancer and my grandmother has just been given months to live. Let's kick cancer in the butt. All $20 toward Borderlands 2. Cosplay. Okay. $10 from Punked. Laplace here's song and voice moved me enough to donate. 
on Oxite, donated $15, just had to donate for La Placier's stellar music, musical performance. Nick and Pachi donated $50. I'm glad you guys are doing this. I've always loved Super Mario Land 2, and playing it to prevent cancer is awesome. $25 anonymous donation. Hail from the Netherlands. Good luck with the run, entering the stream, enjoying the streams, and all for a good cause. Also, is what is up with Mario and two controllers? Thousand people who test, are watching test, this. Test. Oh, well, yep. <laughs> Can you hear us? Okay. Three. Oh, by the way, a warning: um, piranha plants kill you. Just to let you know. Three, two, one, and go. Super Mario World Lost Levels. To my uh, left is Garrison. He's, he's, <laughs> he's the guy who got me into this. And to my right is Andrew G. Hello. I really, I really like this game. Uh, this was uh, a game that people uh, originally found too hard for, for the uh, American audience, the rest of the world. So they kind of chose a different game. <laughs> yeah, they, they, I guess they gave us the, the regular Mario 2 <laughs> instead of uh, this harder version Super of Super Mario Brothers USA. Yeah. 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 Uh, this game is really infamous just for like a difficulty level that's absurd, like almost ROM hackish. A lot of people just consider it a ROM hack of Super Mario Brothers 1, even though it's a little bit more complicated than that. Uh, this is also the game where uh, Luigi has different physics from Mario. Yeah. So Luigi, um, Luigi jumps higher than Mario by a block, and uh, this allows for some uh, different techniques, but it also makes it some of it a little bit trickier. He's a little slippery to, to handle. Um, when you slow down, you, have, you slide a few, maybe two extra blocks farther than Mario. Um, so it's, it's harder to control Luigi than Mario, really. But it's not impossible, as you can see. No, it's impossible. He's, he's just doing it. <laughs> I'm, with, I'm with Andrew. It's real hard. You just got to plan ahead, that's all. <laughs> yeah, um, all you have to do is keep running and keep practicing it. I'm, I promise you, the game can be just like the original Super Mario Brothers. But as I'm playing it, I'm doing a lot of things to uh, correct Luigi's velocity here, like uh, holding left and right in midair and that kind of stuff. That spot's... You can't go by that really quickly, so that slowdown was intentional. Another example of what makes this uh, game different from uh, the original Super Mario Brothers. They put all sorts of obstacles so that you don't can't just uh, hold the run button and press right. So, <laughs> got to manage your speed in a lot of different ways. Yep. Mostly getting the star there because um, the other method involves a few different pipe jumps and it's, it's pretty tricky. Um, doable, but uh, probably... Mm, definitely not marathon Yeah, save. exactly, exactly. Hoppy, hoppy, hop. <laughs> <laughs> you are listening to or watching Awesome Games Done Quick 2014 for the Prevent Cancer Foundation. We are currently watching a warpless run of Super Mario Brothers Lost Levels. If you would like to see the warp run, please donate for the 80% warps run of, I'm sorry, of uh, Super, Mario Super Mario Brothers. Uh, we are currently at a donation total of 586 toward a $2,000 goal. There's another pipe jump that is just, it's just very difficult for a marathon run. I love this one. A lot of people don't even, couldn't really, <laughs> some people can't figure out how to get by that part. Hmm. It's just like, am I supposed to try and jump across the gap somehow? <laughs> There's a lot of places in this game where they tried to sort of trick the player 
and you gotta think beyond that and just jump mm. around and hit some blocks. Mm. All levels in this game is uh, a bit different from the first one. That it doesn't go just go to uh, eight four. Yeah. So yeah, he has um, after world eight is actually well, there's another world that you get secret. <laughs> for uh, for beating the game warpless all through the eight worlds, and then there's an additional worlds A, A through D, um, which are much more challenging and pretty tricky to root. Bowser. The Bowser is pretty random. It's not. Uh, it's not always consistent what he's going to do. So you have to. You when you really have to get to him, just figure out if he's going backwards, forward, or kind of doing like a backward, backward and then forward movement, <laughs> and uh, adjust for whatever's needed. Really. Normally, what happens is that he goes all the way backwards and uh, butt stops me. It's supposed to be butt stopping him. But a lot of the times he, he kind of fakes it out, and you could get you could have gotten past him. A lot of times you just have to uh, guess that he's gonna fake you out and just hope it doesn't kill you in a speed run. Yeah, unfortunately, the RNG factor is very high in this game. Uh, just a lot of you got to react to what's going on because there's just so many variables. The water stages, like this water stage, is especially tricky just because most of the enemy spawns are random and you just have to basically go with the flow. Um, these pits suck you down. You can see he kind of slows down, but it's not him slowing down, it's the game pulling him down. Um, and it happens in this level and, like, a bunch of times, right here. and. Uh, it's kind of, it's almost, it almost feels random, it's just like, it's hard to memorize exactly where each one is, so it, it really trip, trips you up. Yeah, there's so much, like you can get in such bad positions just because of spawns in combination with those pits. So the water stages are very sort of nerve-wracking. Yep. So um, on the flagpole, if you, you've been paying attention, he's been jumping backwards on most of them, and it's because when you jump backwards on the flagpole, um, you you get off the flagpole a little bit quicker than if you jump on it normally. Um, the other thing is he's jumping at the very top of the flagpole, and the reason he's doing he's doing that besides jumping at the bottom where you'd think he'd jump um, is because when he gets off the flagpole, he gets to the castle quicker, and that's what starts the next level sooner. So if you jump at the bottom, it's really going to waste, it's, it might waste like 10 frames or so and uh, cause you to miss a frame rule, but that's a little, <laughs> that's a little <laughs> tricky to Pretend you didn't hear that word. <laughs> uh, hey, more invisible blocks. It's going to be a recurring oops, theme. Oops. So uh, this level is actually a maze. <laughs> And he accidentally went past the <laughs> maze point, so he has to go oh, through it right. again. But it wasn't too bad. Think of this as a tutorial. Yeah. <laughs> Pay attention. <laughs> All right, there we go. Too easy. So while he's running, um, I know that I, I've done the warps of this, and uh, for this level, if you finish in a perfect time, you, you end with a seven at the last digit on the clock, and uh, you can't have that match. Okay. Oh. <laughs> you can't have that match the last digit on the coins. 
So if, so it's, see how it says 48 on the coins? If his last digit on the timer was an eight, he would have gotten fireworks, and that would have slowed down his time. Um, so constantly throughout the run, you're, he has to check up, look at the coins and say, is it going to match? If, if so, I better slow down or speed up <laughs> to avoid it. funny with Luigi, you have, to, you have to make sure you don't jump over the flagpole, <laughs> which everyone always tried to do in the original. The game's actually designed for you to uh, jump over the flagpole. There are a couple of uh, secrets in the game. Yeah. And there are also a couple of, <laughs> of uh, they're pretty mean. <laughs> one of them warps you back to world one, I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Not, not, There's uh, a few backwards warps scattered around. Yeah. So this, these bullet placements are a bit random and sometimes they'll get right in your way. And uh, there's a few patterns that he actually had one bullet that was that was right in the way and he had to go under it. Yep. Um, sometimes I have to jump and then just slightly adjust my jump. Yeah. Or like hit hit a platform to stop yourself from, from dying. Oops. At uh, the beginning of the stage, if I were to just walk <coughs> off, I'd go right into the pit. Like, I turn around like that so I don't walk off into the pit. It was like a silly place to die, but whatever. <laughs> That's not gonna oh. good. That's okay. Well, the other thing is Bowser's fireballs are random, also. So, um, towards the end here, he has to adjust for that. That's See, like that, that's yeah. just complete yeah. randomness. And There's not really much nothing you can do about it. Exactly. Can't really do much to avoid that. Besides slowing down, which obviously he doesn't want to do. Um, <laughs> there's a point to me not slowing down. Uh, in this game, one of the biggest things that makes this game hard is that you want to always do save strats. You always want to get the, uh, the uh, power-ups, because certainly that's not going to kill you. But the problem is, is that um, if you get... If you get, if you get big Luigi, that means that you're bigger. Enemies can uh, easily hit you. You have to duck. There's a lot of obstacles that you have to duck jump in to avoid getting hit. So uh, for the most part, it really isn't worth the time unless you're just going to get fireballs and, uh, and just kill all the enemies. So that's what I would recommend if you want to play this game. Just play through it small and just practice getting through everything. Yeah, the tr really, I mean, the tricky thing is there's just, they, they designed it to put everything in your way and <laughs> just, just stop you. I, I've heard rumors that Miyamoto was in a bad mood when he made this. <laughs> I don't know if that's true or not, but <laughs> very might well be. It is now a good time to read donations? That's not We. Uh, yeah, 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 go ahead and read donations throughout the whole thing. <laughs> Forty dollars from PC Guy. Thanks for doing these runs. Watching the stream has helped me to get through the workday. Fifty dollars from Christian Bodnar. My dad was just diagnosed with malignant melanoma, and it's been somewhat jarring. Thank you for using one of our favorite pastimes to help minimize this problem. One hundred dollars from Asmaria. Hello from France. It's Asmaria. Despite the problems to follow you, thank you for uh, to Germany for their kindness, and especially thank you to speed gun speed runners that give us. Always want to break our joysticks so that they give us good show. $100 from Pappy Sam. My MV is DDoS, but the French are here. We love AGDQ.
So this, in this stage, there's actually a, um, a maze. If you go straight forward, instead of going down the pipe, it loops back to the beginning of the stage. Um, right, here's a little so bit of randomness in the, in the game. There's, there's a bullet bill right here. Oh yeah, you gotta slow down right here. So the only way to really manage it is to learn how to react to them. He's gonna try one more hit. Okay, he didn't do it. So um, in practicing for this game, basically you just have to keep on playing, and the game will give you different random, um, different random positions, and you just have to get used to everything and get used to uh, maneuvering around things. And just a quick update, we are now well past $175,000. We have a $10 anonymous donation, a little contribution from a poor Norwegian student. You're doing amazing work with this stream. Keep it up. $25 from Dr. Elite. This is my first time tuning into you guys. I heard about it from a friend. My grandmother died of cancer when I was only a baby. Thank you guys for all you're doing. $50 from Warren Traveler. A year ago, one of my aunts was in chemotherapy. I am happy to say that she is now cancer free and that her rehabilitation is going very well. PCF is an amazing organization and the runners from SDA and SRL are amazing. I always like that staircase. It's like the most unusual staircase, I think. Yep. <laughs> Although I don't know why they put that prana plant there. Yeah. Because it automatically disappears before you can get to it. That's like the, the prana plant in 3 dash 4. Yeah. It disappears. <laughs> Hooray, another water level. <laughs> so, again, it's the same situation. The, the enemies are randomly placed, really. The enemies are strategically placed, Yeah, really. strategically placed to... Uh, hey, look at this Do you see that? What's that? <laughs> That's also features Koopa's... Koopas who can go underwater. I always found that funny when I first played this. I was not used to that. Wee. Yeah, you saw how he just hopped off of the uh, flagpole. There's a power up I uh, passed by. There's another one. Don't kill me. Oh, okay, he killed me. Yeah. I passed by the mid midway point anyway. Yeah. I'll stop right here. Don't kill me. Oh. <laughs> oh the, this fish, is the fish spawns are. They're pretty much random. There are some certain patterns that they follow. Whee. But if you slow down, then who knows what's going to happen, yeah. really. Honestly, yeah. oh, so that's exactly what happened. When you slow down, and then you have to just dodge all of them. And they, they slow down when you slow down, too, to try and uh, match you. To that's true. <laughs> I believe the reason he jumped at the beginning there is because if you don't jump, you have slightly, if you jump, don't jump at the beginning of a stage, you have slightly floaty or um, falling speed. Yep. Um, what, after you jump, it, your, your falling speed becomes a little bit greater, which is strange. The uh, beginning of this level is just uh, trolly. Yeah, that, it looks like... Hey, Bowser. Yeah, at this stage, it's uh, a little bit tougher with Mario. 
because of the uh, the large gaps that he has to cross. But with Luigi, it's a little bit easier. Just a little bit, though. And this is one of my favorite worlds right here. This is one of my least favorite. <laughs> it has so much good variety. Look at that. It has wind. It has those guys. Oh, it's a good level, but it's def very difficult. Very difficult. And the reason he's getting a star there is because this part coming up, you have those Hammer Brothers, and then this right here, both of those are extremely tricky to get by yep. without a star. Um, the star hardly wastes time, so it's yep. a very um, pretty optimal strat. Yep. Uh, in uh, speed running this, um, you do a lot of uh, less risky strats to start off with. Then you do stuff like that. But yeah, you do a lot of uh, less risky strats until you can actually strategies, until you can actually get through the game consistently. And then you can just try uh, uh, more complicated things. I like this uh, lack of two. It just like does nothing. Oh, I didn't know you could make that. <laughs> <laughs> Scared me. <laughs> yeah. Even Mario can make that. Ah, uh, seven three. This may be people's uh, worst stage right here. Oh. <laughs> I'm terrible at this. This, this is very, very difficult. That is very tricky to land on it and keep the speed. Um, there's a lot of places where you want to land like on the very right side of the spring just to give yourself like, not only do you need enough speed, but you need to like hit certain platforms so you can skip cycles, so to speak. I may right. not make this gap. Yeah, this one I was just going to... Yeah. Yep, okay. I was going to say, this is one of the, those springs right here. It's uh... Wee -hee. Oh, she knew! Yeah. <laughs> Very nice. Why are you clapping at that? <laughs> I get fireworks from my, uh, from me the completing show. the level. Sure. There's so. wind. Yo. Yeah, so the wind, yeah, the wind is, uh, an added element of this game, as is the like the red piranha plants. I kind of messed that one up, so I have to do the new strat here. But so all I have to do is just do light jumps. That's all you got to do to complete that. <coughs> Wait, yeah. The thing about this level is, the uh, this level is repeated in the later levels. It's like. It's the same type of level, so it's the same challenge. It's a, yeah, but it's um, added difficulty. <laughs> Hello, Bowser. This is, this is not a favorable pattern. Yeah. Um, One Bowser. There we go. Especially <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> the fire. The fire bar was really in the way there. Yeah, the fire bar is the worst part about that because not only do you have Bowser walking towards you most of the time, he's throwing the hammers, you got the fire bar in the one place where you can run under him. So it's just like you gotta wait it out for the first safe opportunity. Hello, eight one. Eight eight dash one is one of the harder mm. stages in the game. I wanna try risky first. Oh, well, I'm not gonna try risky first. Oh, very the close. Uh, the problem is is that once you stop, then the RNG takes over. But what I can do, what you can do is, if you can do that without stopping, then this is what happens. There it is. Damn! Oh. That was an absolutely you. flawless, <laughs> absolutely flawless round of 8-1, which is uh, in the top five, I'd say, of the hardest levels in the game. It's also one of the favorite levels because yeah, it's, it's of a fun the skill level. needed. It's a fun level. Speaking of fun levels. <laughs> wow. Oh. <laughs> what? Uh, that okay, 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 okay. That's one of the, the one of the uh, lesser known glitches. 
Yeah, I, I've done that um, at 7-4 as well. Well, the game thought I was inside the uh, the block, and so I, I just got uh, killed by him. Oops. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. I, I, I won't do that trick again, but basically, but, right there, he's trying to he's trying to um, <laughs> jump on the Koopa, hit the block, and then land back on the Koopa so that he can get to the vine yeah. even quicker than normally po normally possible. Yeah. But here's the alternate way of doing it: just go like that. I was going to get you, and jump on that again. If you, it's another one of those levels that if you didn't catch that, then you would have just gone forward past a hammer brother, which would probably have killed you. And then there's even a secret star there to th make you think that you're supposed to get it, to get past that hammer brother. So it's very troll level. So. 8 3 is also a very trolly level. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Well, for people who don't, haven't played it before. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely casual because uh, there are certain enemies that are very. Awkward places. So one thing to mention here is he's jumping right next to these hammer hammer brothers, and between each one, there's. Uh, yeah, no, you're not doing that. Let's try this again. They have poison mushrooms yeah. scattered right, in between. Uh, <laughs> okay, there to make is. those jumps even harder than they already yeah, are. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so that one, uh, you go through the level and you're just running and running and then you realize you're supposed to actually uh, balance that uh, thing out. What's it called? Uh, what are those the called? The lifts? I, I don't know. Elevator lifts? Scales. Scale. Scale lifts. Ah, shoot. I was trying to let that by before commentating on it. So you have, to, you have to play this fast. There's nothing to do about it. You got to do this fast. guarantee it's easier than hesitating. There's a lot of spots. It starts you up and it's really hard to accelerate. So it looks it looks slow, but it's like it looks like he's going slow, but he's actually doing it up normally. It's like this spot right here. Can't really do it fast without uh, wasting extra time. All right. This is arguably the hardest the hardest part of this run right here. Really, if I were to take that fast, it's likely I would actually uh, get dumped into that little that little one block pit. They crafted this game pretty well. So that was the uh, that wasn't the actual Bowser. That was just uh, it's Bowser's yeah. twin. Yeah. <laughs> and that's the end of uh, Act One in this game. I get a little intermission. Uh, I get a little kiss here. Thankfully. Good time to read donations. Time to read donations. All right, fifty dollars from Dot Flack. Hello, every awesome one present there for AGDQ 2014. Donations for the PCF is something I want to do as I cross the path of the cancer as much in my radio technician work as in my personal life, as my stepmother is fighting incredibly well against it. I dedicate my little drop of money in this ocean of donations to every people fighting it, and hopefully to the ones that will find one day a cure to spare us. $50 from an anonymous donor. I had no idea there was such a thing as a speed run of Minecraft. Donating, because I want to see that, also a great cause. Minecraft is $19,000 short of its $20,000 goal, so now's a good time to donate. <laughs> um, Come on, if guys, Minecraft. I know, it's Minecraft. $50 uh, from an anonymous donor. Keep on fighting the good fight. $50 from EMT. Love watching people speed through Mario games, especially the ones I grew up on. Another one of the reasons why I chose to run this game is it kicked my butt as a kid. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I handed the controller over to my sister to complete levels for me when I was younger. $100 from Chris May. <laughs> I've been watching speedruns for a couple of years now and have so much respect for a community of genuine, good human peoples. Keep, uh, keep up with the good work. Let the runner decide. Runner decide what? Where the money goes. Uh, $100, where do you want it to go? <laughs> <laughs> from Mario Lost Lowell. Um, 
We are currently. Um, what's, the, what's the next uh, next game? Should have a donation, right? Well, we have several Mario donations that are currently not at their meet, uh, have not met their goal. Uh, let me refresh here. Super Mario Brothers. Uh, any percent warps run is at six hundred and ninety-one dollars out of a two thousand dollar goal. So that would be a good choice. Okay. Also have. Is there another? Is there another uh, one? Mario Three Warp Run Warps Run by Mitch. We are at one hundred and seventy-one dollars out of a two thousand five hundred dollar goal. Okay. What do you want? All right, just do the next, one, the, the next Mario one, the, uh, the warp. Yeah, yeah, yeah Mario, the warp one. Okay. Mario 3 warp? All right. Yep. 457, go. <laughs> <coughs> uh, most, I'm sure that most people who played this game never saw this screen. It's just because the only way to get to World 9 is to beat the game warpless. Uh, you, if you use the warps, then World 9 doesn't appear. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it spells out arigato, which is thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't you know that? <laughs> Honestly, oh, yeah. I, I'm not playing this game with uh, power-ups anyway, so. All right. So I don't, I don't know why I decided to rely on RNG to get past those uh, Hammer Brothers, but hey, we do. Normally, I do a, a safer strategy. So these, these, this is where it starts to get a little trickier because uh, <laughs> world A and B. Yeah. Well, well. <laughs> if it wasn't tricky enough, yeah. <laughs> wait for world B. Twenty dollars from uh, Labrizzi. I can't resist throwing my wallet at such a great stream. Thank you all over at AGDQ for doing this. Yesterday was my 21st birthday and I had to spend it at my grandmother's funeral. So coming home to this wonderful stream really helps me, help me through these rough times. Thanks again. $20 from Oliver Wozniaka. For the awesome game of my childhood, thanks for an epic run against cancer. Greetings from Germany. $25 from Bjorn Kirsten Mo. Greetings from Norway, second donation of the run so far. Just wanted to wish you luck with the rest of the marathon. Shout out to Brandon, watching the stream of work in Seattle. Posthuman donates $25 and says, I'll donate again today if everybody in the room high fives. With, uh, <laughs> Oh, where's the camera? Yeah. Where it is. Where is it? Where is the camera anyway? So got it. What do we got? I, I think that was good enough. $25 from Daniel Hollick. Nothing uh, says charity. Get up the stairs. Get up the stairs. Nothing says charity like selflessly sacrificing sleep and sanity for the entertainment of others. See, you see, he is going to pull back, and then he pulls forward, defying gravity in the process. Yeah, the toads, uh, they get bored and start pulling tricks. Oh, I love Will B. Will B is like the most, one of the most athletic in this game. Makes a good speed run. Now, um, ever since World 8, there, there are no midway checkpoints. They are not, no. This is completely unique. Um, there are some levels that are familiar, like uh, you'll see um, C. World C3 and C4 will look a lot like World 7. $10 from Liquid Flood. Good luck, TJP, and those frame-perfect piranha plant pipe jumps still get me every time. Sparhawk donates 10. He says, this is for all the dungeons and Twilight Princess. I lost three grandparents, one uncle, and several family friends to cancer, so happy to join the fight.
The I like these extremely long fire bars. <laughs> Not seen in the original. Oh, <laughs> uh, the original had them. What are you talking about? Well, the, well oh, maybe they did. Well, five, five, four. You're right. Mm -hmm. You do run the game, right? Oh, <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, yeah. I think that out of all the levels, this one's my favorite level. Yeah. $20 from BSS, making another donation. Yay. As always, thank you to the runners and shout outs to all the technical crew keeping things oh. running smoothly. And I get some fireworks to celebrate my victory. Uh, in this game, um, I haven't really uh, tested it, but um, uh, you get like three fireworks or six fireworks, but most of it seems to be like six fireworks. And you can even get a one up sometimes too. Oops. You'll see that this is one of those levels that looks like a maze, but it's actually not a maze until you enter a pipe. Not a maze, it's just amazing. It's amazing. There we go. Oh, there we go. Playing as Luigi gets a little tricky to navigate through some of these tight areas. Anyway. It can't stop. <laughs> the fireballs will still get you. First game over or second and second? DJ Dak donates $20 and says, Hi everyone, my grandfather died Please. to cancer when I was little. <laughs> I really appreciate what you are doing to help other people avoid that fate. $100 from Btrend. We need to get this small uh, SMW run, Mario run incentive people. It's amazing to watch. $50 from Crayla. Hello from Mexico. Amazing charity event. Keep up the great work. $20.02 from Kiko. Kio. Combining retro games with a fun for, uh, fun for cancer. How could I not contribute? There's nothing you can do about that guy. Yeah, that blooper is either in the right pattern or he's not. Yeah. Then you have that guy right there, yeah. This level I I really like because it's um, it's a level that you see also see in um, the arcade version of Mario Brothers, Super Mario Brothers, right. and uh, I, I consider this to be one of the harder one of the, one of the hardest stages in the game as far as the arcade version. Right. This there we go. It's quite similar. There's a little it's a little bit of a combination between. Mario won the lost levels and then just some added things. Yeah. But that stage is uh, quite tricky. Okay, this is the one that's the uh, almost exact duplicate of 7 3, with the addition of our friend Mr. Lackerton here. Uh, <laughs> so that's, that's Luigi. That's what Luigi does. Try right, uh, but honestly, the Lackerton is not going to kill you. There's like only one one pattern where he throws a well-placed spiny. Besides that, trying to That's compensate fine. between the wind, Luigi's sl slipperiness, and just not even being able to see yourself on screen gets a little bit tricky. Yeah. Uh, I might pass this gap, maybe. We'll see. This is where I have to stop. 
because that fire bar may just be in the wrong position and kill me. Uh, unlike 7-3, where I can just safely always get past him with skill. A uh, $100 donation from Anisha in Sweden. Great job raising money. We will fight the big ugly sea with everything we got. A big hello to Emil and Nick in the audience. And this is almost uh, identical to 7-4. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the patterns of these guys, I uh, and they explained that once you get to World 9, the patterns of enemies are faster and uh, they're more uh, buzzy beetles than Goombas. Yeah. It's essentially equivalent of second quest as far as the enemy speeds on uh, Super Mario Bros. 1. That's right. He's coming for me. Okay. And I could have gotten that. Have to be careful. It's the same deal as before. Please, nope. Well, that was a, I got it this time now. <laughs> that was a lot easier than last time. <laughs> ah. World D. World D. Consider these are the hardest levels of the game. Um, especially, well, D1 and D3. This one. $10 from Bradley Ann. Great work on the lost levels and the stream in general. Nice to see uh, the ending of a game I never got very far in. <coughs> Sveen donates $10. Keep up the great work. Um, that's on purpose. That's just to tank past this. Get rid of uh, the RNG, the positioning of those uh, those Hammer Brothers. So. At the beginning, yeah. DJP developed a strategy to uh, get right through two hammers <laughs> at the start. If you saw it, it yeah. was uh, it's a very precise trick, and he nailed it. And only because in Super Mario Brothers 3, I did the same exact thing. The other thing is uh, the Koopa floating in the air, he managed to, to get by uh, that gap, which is... It's, uh, Sometimes very tricky. We have one hundred dollars from Benjamin Crisco. Thanks for all the hard Sorry. work. Sorry, <laughs> not gonna do it. It's like reliving my childhood, except it's an alternate childhood where I wasn't terrible at these games. <laughs> Two hundred dollars from Pointing Dancer. Hello from Germinch, French German community. For me, you are the true heroes, guys. I love you all. I love this level. D3 has a lot of RNG. RNG, be nice, okay. Favorable, RNG. favorable. RNG. RNG, okay. Everything so far completely RNG. intentional. Ah, shoot. I should have gone down. Okay, okay. No, RNG. Don't worry about exactly what it stands for. Just think of everything as random. Like the positions or anything like that. That's what the R stands for. But I was hoping not to, to comment about this level before I actually uh, did something I'm talking about here. But. So these these guys yeah. are always, they're always just they they could be placed anywhere, yeah. and the only way to really avoid it is to jump on the coin. Oh, I know. <laughs> well, up or down, up or down, up or down. Uh, he's dead. Okay. All right. Uh -huh. All right. Those right. shoot too. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yes, those guys. That was that was very. Oh, man, that's taken me like ten times before. So we have to stop for that long fire bar because um, there's no way to get by it otherwise. This is like the uh, the slow route, a little bit safe route. This guy's a joke. You can always just jump over him. Wait a little bit here, just yeah. jump a gap. Yeah, you have to make a slight hesitation because otherwise the piranha plant across the gap will be up yep. and um, you'll have to jump out the edge of the pipe to live. And this, here's yeah. mini Bowser again. And the last challenge right here. 
Oh no! Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> Hey, there it is. And time. I can't hear you. <laughs> time, please. 43.55. Okay, that's not bad. Excellent. Ah. Oh, man. Lost levels. Uh, Mario is also good to watch. So, all right. Oh, maybe. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, right now we have $911.99 toward the 2000 goal to see Super Mario Brothers Warps run. Next up on the schedule is Andrew G running Super Mario Brothers Warpless. We're going to go to commercial, and we'll be right back here at Awesome Games Done Quick 2014. Um, can we, uh, can you grab that? What? The NES? I can't I, grab it, really. Well, oh, well, I don't well, know. I mean, well, I... You want me to put the controller? You have to, you have to, you have to hook the, uh, Nintendo. We're gonna hook this up. Yep. Um, <laughs> you got it? Yeah, okay. Yeah, just put the Nintendo on. <laughs> oh. I didn't realize I was plugged in. Would you be able to like, um, unhook the NES and maybe? I don't. I don't know how. We, I don't know you how we do. I don't know how we do this. You can reach the control. Oh yeah. I, oh yeah. I guess so. Uh, <laughs> I just didn't want it to. I no, wasn't no, sure. It's, it's was fine. Sure. Yeah, you can do that. You got this. We're not going to be moving or anything. <laughs> I think you, you, I think you might want a top floor here. Yeah, I was thinking maybe, is it hooked? I don't think it's plugged in, dude. Is it, is it hooked into a... I don't know which one. Is there an NES hooked up? <laughs> yeah, I don't know which NES is hooked up to anything. Right now... Very good okay, job. yeah, take the card out of that. <clears throat> Next time I should wish Mario. <laughs> I don't need to tour to get used to it. I need to go on a tour to get used to it. <laughs> That's a good idea, let's tour. <laughs> <clears throat> Oh, there we go. 
could you um could you reset it once like right right before I go? Uh yeah. Just so I can well well one when, when Yeah I, I know I'm just oh. Yeah, okay. Just so I can get so can right. read, um, Wait, do what? Okay, you want to hide? Yeah. Just go up turn the volume. <laughs> he need, he's going to need sound for this. Yeah. Yeah. Since we're having some trouble meeting some of the Super Mario donation incentives, what we're going to do is this. At the end of Super Mario World, we are going to see if any of them have been met, and if they are, we'll do them all at once then. This includes the Any% percent Warps run for Super Mario Brothers, the Warps run by Mitch for SMB3, and the Small Mario run for Super Mario World. So please get, do please get donating for those, thanks. <laughs> we want to wall jumps. Okay. All right. Uh, okay. Three, two, one. All right. Go. Hey, I got B one. This is super <laughs> hard. Bro. Can't see the timer very well. <laughs> He got 380 going out of the pipe in that underground area. The run can continue. <laughs> so are you doing small fire Mario? Yes. Okay. Excellent. What is that? You will find out. <laughs> that little jump he did with the Goombas. It's so hard when you first learn this. It's very difficult. <laughs> nice one, too. <laughs> you might be able to notice that piranha hitboxes are a little different in this compared to what you were just seeing <laughs> from DJP. Check, one, two. Ooh, nice. You can kind of grab the mushroom, or if there's a fire flower, you can grab that early, depending on, like, if you jump a little into the box. It's like a weird thing with hitboxes and um, items that are spawning from them. I'm gonna get the fire flower to be safe. <laughs> what? Normally you wouldn't do this, like you try and, if you're going for a really good time in this category, you get just like you know, playing big fire Mario and you try and play through the whole game like that. Um, I don't think it's been explained yet that when you get to a, you know, a dash four level with Bowser at the end, the killing Bowser with fireballs is faster than just hitting the axe because it skips the bridge cr crumbling animation. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I didn't think you'd actually do it. <laughs> He's a man of many talents. <laughs> Mario also learned how to ice skate during this run. <laughs> I shoot those fireballs there because um, sometimes the fish will pop up and uh, sometimes the fish will pop up and there's one that will get in your way, a certain pattern, and if you shoot the fireballs, the fish will get hit. So, so the, the reason I can hit the fish above me is because the fireball is slightly over Mario when I shoot it, when it's starting out. Yeah, you can see the sprite change to big Mario for like a split second. Oh. That would be cool if we walked up there. <laughs> <laughs> Almost. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> Uh, yes, yeah. Well, think of uh, how the animation is. It expects yeah. you to be big to throw a fireball or to spit a fireball. Is now a good time to read donations? All right, we've got yeah. $50 from Cyberbot X. Got to give all the Mario runners good luck on the runs. Got to save the princess. $50 from Ricky J. Been a hard year. This last uh, time, last year, almost lost my mother multiple times to illness. It wasn't cancer, but here's $50 to fight to the fight. Put it towards Minecraft. A $250 anonymous donation. Uh, this is somewhat self-serving. It says, hey, Duango AC. That's me, by the way. Uh, I might not see you before I leave, but it was a pleasure meeting you. Like I say, a little self-serving. $50 donation from Trev1776. This is a great thing you guys are doing. I donated 25 last year, 50 this year, next year I'll be at 100. $50 anonymous donation just to say the French and German community are supporting you guys. Keep up the hard work. $30 from Mr. Maglor. DDoS have striked the French stream, but a new land community is born. Grimmage. Thanks to Grimmage friends. $20 oh. from Prelo. I lost my biggest role models to cancer, and I'm glad you guys are doing something like this. Very inspiring and swag sauce. Ooh. <laughs> TV Twitch. It's Twitch TV. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> So the reason I'm the reason I actually use fire for my um, for my current warpless strategy is um, killing killing Bowser with fire skips the bridge animation and the time it takes to to um, kill him. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I missed it. I was concentrating. <laughs> In case you forgot. <laughs> Opposed to the lost levels, jumping on the flagpole facing to the left um, isn't faster, but for, for lost levels it is. Still, the top of the flagpole is the fastest. As I know someone's asking that right now. <laughs> right now, <laughs> chat. We have a $50 anonymous donation. Lost all four of my grandparents, my best friend, and aunt to cancer. Let's destroy this together. $30 anonymous donation. I lost my grandmother to cancer in October, and despite being a poor student, I thought I'd donate as much as I can spare. 
shout out to the crew and runners for doing this year after year to support such an amazing cause. A $50 anonymous donation, Grimmage Hype. Rummel, together we can beat cancer and DDoS, or DDoS. We have another $250 donation from Morib. I discovered AGDQ last year and was amazed by the great entertainment you guys provide. This year, I discovered the fantastic German restream. Thanks for the interviews with the SDA staff and the stunner runners Ooh. on the site. Uh, we lost I can't pictures. see. I can't see. Back. Oh, it's back. It's back. Can you pause the timer anyway? Can you pause it? Yeah. Pause. Can you pause it? Yeah. Pause. Keep your hands warm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um. I don't know. Yeah, I don't. I'm trying to figure out what it is. Okay, you can start it. I'm trying to adjust how much it took for him to stop it. <laughs> right, we can get a frame count later. <laughs> oh, wow. There we go. That was pretty good, man. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> Yeah, sometimes you need to improvise a little, depending on um, the position of everything, you know, having to kill them with fireballs. <clears throat> that was really good right there. Soy donates $25. It feels great to donate to such an awesome cause. My mother is a three-time cancer survivor, and with any luck, we can prevent anyone from having to go through such an ordeal again. I have another $50 anonymous donation. Sometimes that, well, <laughs> sometimes the bullet at the beginning shoots and it gets right in your way. Fortunately, I got lucky. I'm, I don't know if that's a five or a six on the clock. I couldn't figure it out, so hopefully it's, I don't get fireworks. Because there's a there's a little line in the way. <laughs> this is a hard pattern, I can already tell you. For the bullets. <laughs> but he knew it because he studied he's <laughs> played, so, I've played often. so many times. Yeah. Right. Well that's six, I can't see. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, oh well. I think that's six. That's okay, it's a celebration. <laughs> Your smallness. Oh, uh, 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 the, sc the, sc yeah. the screen is. We can blame that on the screen. Uh, I, uh, <laughs> Wait, it came, Every back. <laughs> it came back as I was walking over yeah, here. Yeah. <laughs> So when you lose firepower, which usually happens at some point in like the latter worlds, um, you basically just you know hit the axes at that point and then take the time loss. <clears throat> you can get another one. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Some donation incentive updates. For the any percent warps run of Super Mario Brothers, we are at a goal of $1,536 toward a $2,000 goal. 
For the Warps Run by Mitch of Super Mario Brothers 3, we're at $331 out of 2500 So we have a long way to go on that one. And for the Small Mario <coughs> Run, we're at $2,984 out of a $4,000 run. Or goal. level is really tricky. Oh, yeah. Also, a quick note, we do have a Legend of Zelda, a Link to the Past, four character limit do uh, file name. The winner at the moment, and the person who is Hat. Feel free to get your donation in toward that goal. Good recovery, man. Yeah. I like how, uh, World 6 it really makes you have to jump around. Yeah, World 6 might be like the hardest world besides World 8. I don't know. <laughs> if you finish this stage perfectly, you end with a 6 on the clock. So I slow down a little bit intentionally to get the 5. Yeah, if you don't know, if you end with one as your single single digit on the timer you get one firework the end with three you get three fireworks and ending with six gets you six fireworks <clears throat> that happens half like half the time oh <laughs> um, oh it's okay <laughs> i wanted to do it but it was it didn't look promising yeah. <laughs> especially with that the lift there yeah, that was a good decision. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Annihilator do donates $100, donating toward the Super Mario Bros. Warps run, so we can see Andrew G. get the 457 in the middle of this fantastic marathon. <laughs> that might be a little optimistic. No pressure. Uh, we believe in you, Andrew. $50 from Zero DPX. Super Mario World's small Mario run is amazing and needs to happen. Bad. That's the worst pattern you can get. Oh, crap. Oh, no. Well, actually, what? What this means? Oh, well. Uh, <laughs> <that's just> sad. <laughs> no. Congratulations. Uh, <laughs> so, this is a little tricky situation because I'm big in a level that's pretty difficult to navigate. And the fireball. With no fire. All he did was duck underwater. Yeah, I didn't do anything special. He's not impressed. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> that was awesome. So, so what I did there is, um, if you touch the ground and you duck, you can you can basically you can be ducking underwater, but it doesn't show it. So the top half of Mario is safe. The bottom half is vulnerable. We have a $50 donation from El, El Pufo. <laughs> German Inch will do it. Thank you again to all you speedrunners. This is the best community worldwide. Oh. $30 from Laser, Lazur Beam. This is my second donation. I really appreciate the time and energy it takes to accomplish everything I have seen so far today. <laughs> I can't see, though. Yeah, so, there's a, there's a V1 be. on the screen. and. It, it's, it's right the over the timer. It's right over the timer. It like hasn't affected anyone up to this point, probably, except that. <laughs> Down, middle, top. Uh, it's top, middle, top. Otherwise, it loops. Not feeling it. <laughs> feeling it. 
Batman that George donates forty dollars. You guys are doing good work. Keep it up. There's I, there's uh, one sound cue midway through. So if I can <coughs> see if I can get this. Actually, you know what? I don't know why I'm thinking about even doing it. <laughs> yeah. Oh. I'll do it. Oh, maybe I'll do it for a warp run. There's a star in case anyone needs it. <laughs> <coughs> Favorite? I like this stage. We have $50 from the Care 130. French and German community are the Grimmage community country. Thank you all. Schmeichel donates $200. Awesome entertainment and a charitable cause. Cool. Best money I've ever spent. $200, thanks. Cool. Oh, good job. Good job. <laughs> Odd, odd. Yeah, you got it. You're covered. Okay, this this stage. Uh, uh, what do I do? You know what to do. We only have about $300 left in the Mario Warps run of the $2,000 goal. We're at $1,665, so keep working on that one. To do this level <coughs> flawlessly. 316 in time. Doubt it. <laughs> 316. <laughs> edge of each TV screen <laughs> looks like, so yeah. I... <laughs> That's pretty good, though. All right, so, so am I doing a warp run, or what? I think that's after, after the whole Mario Norm block. Okay. Oh yeah, I didn't really hear what. I didn't really hear what they said exactly. <laughs> pretty happy with that. Yeah, it's all solid. Good job. What? I'm also doing it. Now, yeah, okay. So we have So we are moving to Mario Brothers Three next. This is Awesome Games Thanks, everyone. Done Quick 2014. We're going to take a quick commercial break, and we'll be right back. <laughs> 